What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchupEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So today we're going to learn how to take a pattern and drape it onto a dome um, in order to create a pattern on top of a dome shape. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so what we've got here is we've got a pattern that I've already come in here and I've drawn um, just like this and I just kind of drew, drew it using the offset tools and then the arc tool uh, just to draw kind of a basic pattern in here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come in here and you can see how I have this pattern pattern kind of centered over the origin point right here. Um, that means that whatever I draw over the origin down here, this is going to be directly over it. So what we're going to do is we're going to come in here now and we're going to draw our dome. So I'm just going to activate the circle tool by tapping the C key. And then uh, I'm just going to kind of inference over to this box so that the circle has the same radius or the circle's radius is the same size as this box. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come in here. I'm just going to draw a quick canvas right here or just a face that I can kind of draw an arc along. This just helps with kind of the the way that this kind of inferences out on the arc. Um, otherwise, if you try to just draw it straight up and down in space, um, sometimes this arc doesn't work the way that you want it to. So what I did is all I did is I just came in here, I drew this box, and then I drew an arc down to this side right here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna erase this out, and then I'm just gonna select, select the perimeter of this circle, and then activate the follow me tool. And that's going to let me extrude this along this arc. And you can see how I've got a little bit of a problem here because this uh, kind of arced up above what a normal circle would be. So we're just going to come in here. We're going to kind of adjust um, the way that arc is drawn real quick. So I'm going to draw this a little shorter so that it doesn't come up above the top of this box. And then I'll come in here and erase this. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just select this perimeter, activate follow me, and then click on it just like this. You can see how that just kind of extrudes this into a dome shape. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here. And now that I've got my dome in here and it's and centered on this, uh, this origin point right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate sandbox tools. And remember, sandbox tools are built in to sketch up so you just have to go up to your uh, window extension manager and uh, just turn on sandbox tools if they're not on already so just come in here select enable click apply and then close out of this and this menu should show up so what we're going to do is we're going to use one of the tools in sandbox tools called drape what drape does is basically takes a face and it drapes it down over another face so like for example if i select this and i say drape it's going to take this and it's put it going to put it down on this uh, down on this dome so go ahead and select your face just like this then come up here look for the option that says drape click on it and then come down here and move your mouse over this uh this face right here and this should turn kind of blue showing you that that's the face it's going to drape it on and then just go ahead and click and you can see what that did is that took this pattern that I drew and it draped it over this dome just like this. And you can do this with much more complex patterns if you want to. Um, I kind of stuck with something simple. So, and then once I've got this in here, there's a few different things I can do. I can use an extension like joint push pull to come in here and probably use the extrude push pull. But I can basically use that, whoops. I can basically select this entire face, select extrude push pull. And I can extrude this whole face up if I want to, just like this. So this, this gives me kind of a pattern on top of my face, just like this. So I could come in here, I could do that. I could come in here and I could just delete out all these other faces. And right now I'm using an extension called Selection Toys by TomTom. Tom. But basically what I just did in here is I came in here and uh, I remember this is one continuous face along here so I just triple click to select everything and then I held the shift key and I clicked in here to deselect these faces and then I came in here and I right clicked and I selected deselect edges and remember you have to have selection toys by TomTom Tom installed in order to do that but you can come in here and you can delete out all these faces really fast and then you can just come in here and kind of mess around with this and 
So I can kind of extrude that backwards. So that'll give me kind of a mesh framework in here, that kind of thing. So there's a lot of things you can do in here with this, but uh, this is just kind of a general principle video for how you can use the drape tool to create patterns on domes. So that's where I'm gonna end today's video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you thought. Is this something you've been doing? Have you been looking for a way to kind of create patterns along uh, more organic shapes like this? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. Uh, if you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing on this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. That just helps me keep bringing you great SketchUp content. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.